Around 480 million animals are feared to have died in the bushfires sweeping Australia, including nearly a third of the koalas in New South Wales's main habitat. Ecologists at the University of Sydney estimate around 480 million mammals, birds and reptiles have been killed, directly or indirectly, by the devastating blazes since they began in September, the Times reported. This includes almost 8,000 koalas, which are believed to have burnt to death on the state's mid-north coast. The region which lies around 240 miles north of Sydney, is home to the largest number of Australia's koalas, with a population of up to 28,000. Federal Environment Minister Susan Lay told ABC up to 30% of the population in that region may have been killed, because around 30% of their habitat has been destroyed. We'll know more when the fires have calmed down and the proper assessment can be made. More than 100 fires continue to rage across the country, having so far consumed more than 5 million hectares of land. Nine people have died and hundreds of homes have been razed to the ground during the unprecedented bush fire season. About 4 million hectares have been burnt in New South Wales alone. As well as being one of Australia's most populous koala habitats, the Mid-North Coast region also houses one of the country's main koala hospitals. Dedicated workers at the, the Port Macquarie Koala Hospital reportedly treated 72 badly burnt animals on Christmas Day. They were brought in after bushfires destroyed up to three-quarters of their habitat, according to the clinical director Cheney Flanagan. She told writers we have teams on roster for capture if any are in trouble and they are available 24 hours a day. A GoFundMe page for the hospital has received more than pounds $1.6 million to million audits since September the largest single amount raised on the site in Australian history. The website Newsub reported. According to Mark Graham, who is an ecologist with the Nature Conservation Council, koalas have no capacity to move fast enough to get away from fires that spread from treetop to treetop. Mr. Graham told the New South Wales Parliamentary Inquiry earlier this month that the fires have burnt so hot and so fast that there has been significant mortality of animals in the trees, but there is such a big area now that is still on fire and still burning that we will probably never find the bodies. We've lost such a massive swathe of known koala habitat that I think we can say without any doubt there will be ongoing declines in koala populations from this point forward. The scorched regions include nature reserves in the Greater Blue Mountains World Heritage Area and parts of the Gondwana Rhine forests which have existed since the time of the dinosaurs and are the most extensive area of subtropical rainforest in the world. This is a photo of the heartbreaking moment a cyclist shares her water with a dehydrated koala which was begging for water during the record-breaking heat wave in Australia. Thousands of koalas are thought to have perished in the wildfires ravaging the continent. While experts fear that around half a billion animals have been killed in total, videos and pictures of the dehydrated animal were shared on Instagram by a cyclist called Lulu, who told of how the koala approached her as she rode and climbed up onto her bike. The animal can then be seen drinking thirstily when offered a water bottle during 40 C heat, Lulu said. Photo of the day, the Australian koala bears suffering severe thirst in a heat wave.
This koala walked right up to me as I was descending and climbed up onto my bike while I gave him water. The footage was taken just outside Adelaide, in South Australia. While the wildfires are mainly affecting New South Wales, the South Australia region has also experienced fires. The mid-north coast of New South Wales is home to one of Australia's most populous koala habitats, thought to be between 15,000 and 28,000. Lulu added, My new best friend coming for a ride on my bike this morning on another 40C day in Adelaide, South Australia where we are in the midst of a heat wave and the countryside is burning out of control with bushfires for several days now. Devastating losses of homes and wildlife. Brave firefighters, 